بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیسنٹ دا موسٹ مرسیفل ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم مائی نیم از عائشہ عبد اللہ سبجیکٹ اسپیشلسٹ میتھس ایٹ ڈی وی این ایل پبلک اسکول اینڈ کالج ساہیوال اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ول ٹیچ یو میتھس کلاس سکس اینڈ دس از یور لیکچر نمبر ٹویلو ایز یو آلریڈی نو دیٹ وی آر اسٹڈنگ چیپٹر نمبر ٹو دیٹ از ہول نمبرز سو ہیئر آر دا کانٹینٹس انکلیوڈ ایڈیشن اینڈ سبٹریکشن آف ہول نمبرز ایکسرسائز نمبر ٹو پوائنٹ ٹو کوشچن نمبر ون اینڈ ٹو Students, by the end of this topic, you will be able to add the whole numbers and also you will be able to subtract the whole numbers. Firstly, we recall the previous knowledge. In previous lectures, you have learned about natural numbers and whole numbers. The number 0 together with the natural or counting numbers gives us the whole numbers. So here is the topic that is exercise number 2.2 question number 1 and 2. Question number 1 is given over here. That is evaluate. The first part of question number one is given over here. That is four hundred and eighty six plus seven hundred and thirty two. So here is the solution. Students, remember that in every number, each digit has a place value. and that depends entirely on whether the digit is placed here the digit 6 is at units place and the digit 8 is at tens place and digit 4 is at hundreds place to find the sum of given numbers write them in vertical columns while placing each digit according to its place value we write plus sign over here on the left just to show that we are going to add these whole numbers and we draw line here so that we can write answer below it We now start from the units place. Now, what is six plus two? That is eight. We write eight here, and now we add eight and three. We get eleven. We write this one down here, and we carried this one up here as. Again, add four and seven. That is eleven. Now add this carry one to this eleven. In this way, we get twelve. So we write twelve here. Thus, four hundred and eighty-six plus seven hundred and thirty-two is one thousand. Two hundred and eighteen. In the second part of question number one, that is six hundred and fifty-four plus one hundred and ninety-eight. In solution, add four and eight, we get twelve. Write two here and one. 
is the carry. Now add 5 and 9. We get 14. Again add this carry that is 1 to this 14. In this way we get 15. So write 5 here and 1 is again the carry. Again add 6 and 1. We get 7. Add this carry to this 7. In this way we get 8. Thus 654 plus 198 is 852. The third part is about subtracting the whole numbers. To perform the subtractions, write the numbers in vertical columns while placing each digit according to its place value. After that, we can start subtracting. Observe that the digit 1 is smaller than the digit 6. So how can we subtract? In this situation, we cannot subtract unless we borrow 1 from here. So we borrow 1 from here and this becomes 0. And here 1 becomes 11. Now 11 minus 6 is 5. So we write down 5 here. Now Similar is the case with this. 0 is smaller than 5. So we take borrow 1 from 8. Then 8 becomes 7 and this 0 becomes 10. Now 10 minus 5 is 5. So we write down 5 here. 7 minus 3 is 4, then we write down 4 here as you can see. Thus, 811 minus 356 is 455. The fifth part of question number 1 is given over here that is 1096 plus 4833. Add 6 and 3, we get 9. Add 9 and 3, we get 12. So write 2 here and 1 is the carry. Add 1 and 8, we get 9. Adding 1 and 4, we get 5, so we write down 5 here as. Thus, 1096 plus 4833 is 5929. The fourth part is given over here, that is 4001 minus 809. In solution, as 1 is smaller than 9, so we need to take a borrow. So this 0 takes borrow from 4. Then 4 becomes 3. And this 0 becomes 10. We have to need borrow for 1, but its neighbor that is 0 has nothing to give. So, for this purpose, 0 takes borrow from 10, then 10 becomes 9 and this 0 becomes 10. Now, we can take borrow for 1, then 1 becomes 11 and here 10 becomes 9. Now, let's start subtraction. 11 minus 9 is 2. So write down 2 here. 9 minus 0 is 9. And 9 minus 8 is 1. And we write 3 as it is. 
Thus, 4001 minus 809 is 3192. Here is the eighth part of question number one. 815 plus 186 plus 334. We have to add all these whole numbers. 5 plus 6 plus 4 is 15. We write 5 here and 1 is the carry. Again, 1 plus 8 plus 3 is 12. Add this carry to this 12. In this way, we get 13. Write down 3 here and 1 is again a carry. Now, again, 8 plus 1 plus 3 is 12. Add this carry to this 12. In this way, we get 13. So, write 13 here. Thus, 815 plus 186 plus 334 is 1335. In the ninth part of question number 1, that is 650 plus 809 plus 97. 0 plus 9 plus 7 is 16. So write down 6 here and 1 is the carry. Again, 5 plus 0 plus 9 is 14. Add this carry to this 14, we get 15. Write 5 here and 1 is the carry. 6 plus 8 is 14. So add this carry to this 14, we get 15. Thus, 650 plus 809 plus 97 is 1556. Question number 2 is given over here that is write the correct digit within each box. The first part of question number 2 is given over here. Now just think about it. I mean to say that. Think about it what we have to write in this box so that we get 7. We need 4. By adding 3 and 4 we get 7. Now add 4 and 5 we get 9. What we have to write in this box so that we get 9. Here is 7. That is 7 plus 2 is 9. In the second part of question number 2, what we have to write in this box so that we get 6? The only possibility is 5. So we write 5 here. Now add 9 and 8. We get 17. We write 7 here and 1 is the carry. Now what we have to write in this box? 1 adding 4 and 1 and this carry that is 1 we get 6 the third part of question number 2 what we have to write in this box so that we get 2 that is 5 as you can see that 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12 so we write 2 here and 1 is the carry now again, what we have to write in this box so that we get 5. We write down 8 here. In this way, we get 15. So we write 5 here and 1 is the carry. And what we have to write in this box so that we get 7. It's very simple. That is 1. Now add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus this carry that is 1, we get 7. The fifth part of question number 2 is given over here. 
what we have to write in this box so that we get 6 it means that is 0 because 6 minus 0 is 6 here in this box we write 3 because by taking 1 as borrow from 2 we get 13 in this way 13 minus 6 we get 7 and what remains here 1 minus 1 is 0 here is an assignment for you question number 1 4 and 7th part question number 2 4th and 6th part Thank you so much for watching the video.